Hi folks, this is Jason, hope you're okay today. We're going to be looking at Alexander um, Solzhenitsyn, uh, a famous Russian writer, um, and he's talking about men have forgotten God in his Templeton address, and um, I'll pick up about halfway through. Um, and then you can read the rest of the article. The West has yet to experience experience a communist invasion. Religion remains here free. But the West's own historical evolution has been such that today it is too is experiencing a drying up of religious consciousness. It too has witnessed racking schism, bloody religious wars and rancor, to say nothing of the tide of secularism that from the late Middle Ages onwards has progressively inundated the West. This gradual sapping of the strength from within is a threat to faith that is perhaps even more dangerous than any attempt to assault religious violently from without. Imperceptibly, through decades of gradual erosion, the meaning of life in the West has ceased to be seen anything more lofty than the pursuit of happiness, a goal that has been solemnly Guaranteed by constitutions, the concepts of good and evil have been ridiculed for several centuries, banished from common use, and they have been replaced by political or class considerations of short-lived value. It has become embarrassing to state that evil makes its home in the individual human heart before it enters a political system. Yet it is not, yet it is not considered shameful to make daily concessions to an integral evil. Judging by the continuing landslide of concessions made before the eyes of our very own generation, the West is ineluctably slipping towards the abyss. Western societies are losing more and more of the religious sense as they thoughtlessly yield up the younger generation to atheism. If a blasphemous film about Jesus is shown throughout the United States, reputably one of the most religious countries in the world, or a major newspaper publishes a shameful caricature of the Virgin Mary, what further evidence of godlessness does one need? When external rights are completely unrestricted, why should one make an inner effort to restrain oneself from ignoble acts? Or why should one refrain from, burn, from burning hatred, whatever is basis, race, class or ideology? Such hatred is in fact corroding many hearts today. Atheist teachers in the West are bringing up a younger generation in a spirit of hatred of their own society. Amid all the uh, vituperation, we forget that the defects of capitalism represent the basic flaws of human nature, allow unlimited freedom together with various human rights. We forget that under communism, and communism is breathing down the neck of all moderate forms of socialism which are untenable, the identical flaws run riot in any person with at least degree of authority. While everyone else under the system does indeed attain equality, the quality of destitute slaves. The eager fanning of the flames of hatred is becoming the mark of today's free world. Indeed, the broader the personal freedoms are, the higher the level of prosperity or even abundance, the more vehement, paradoxically, does this blind hatred become. The contemporary development West, developed West, thus demonstrates by its own example that human salvation can be found neither in the profusion, profusion of material goods nor in merely making money. The deliberately nurtured hatred then spreads to all that is life, to life itself, to world with its colours, sounds and shapes to the human body. The embittered art of the 20th century is perishing as a result of this ugly hate. For art is fruitless without love. In the East, art has collapsed because it has been knocked down and trampled upon. But in the West, the fall has been voluntary, a decline into contrived and pretentious quest where the artist, instead of attempting to reveal the divine plan, tries to put himself in the place of God. You can read the article. Um, the article is uh, Men Have Forgotten God, the Templeton Address by... Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Um, 
I think uh, I think his uh, analysis there of the West uh, is even more profound for today because if you look at the modern atheist um, movement on they say they're not a movement but if you look at the atheist the way they've been going they're pumping out a lot of hate there's a lot of hate being pumped out and it's very aggressive hate but not only in in atheism even in religion even in uh, Calvinism in America the young Calvinist there's a lot of this hate and aggression so it's not just um, atheist but in our cultures today there is a lot of lot of hate and I think it's down to the fact that men have forgotten God they've forgotten the reality of God if God is not at the center and he is not real then we descend into a vacuousness of materialism and self-loathing and that's what our cultures are descending into um, and this self-loathing becomes like an icon uh, and a reflection of our own grandiose egotism in our decadent western cultures what we need to do is pull up and return to a vision of who God is and in the judo christian god and have an eye for him and as we have a high for, an eye for him we will begin to reflect his character which is a reflection of love and we'll get away from the self-hate the self-loathing and the aggression and become more peaceful and loving nations and cultures i'll leave a, a link to his article uh, to his lecture and I hope it stimulates you to thought and deeper reflection. Thank you for listening. God bless you.